Hey guys, it's LS, and this video that I'm going to be doing right now is just going to be a basic uh, tip and trick uh, video. And basically, what I'm going to be showing right now is just something that I mentioned in some of my videos, primarily for support, but not only for support players, but it is a way to better communicate with your team um, by keeping control of buff timers um, and like objective timers, uh, such as like Dragon, Baron, etc without having to take both your hands off the mouse and like type and then have to go back or something. So this is a technique that they do in Korean houses. Um, and this is where I first uh, obviously saw it. Um, and it's extremely beneficial to just improving your gameplay so that your, your mouse and your keyboard never have to leave play. So one of the first things that you'll do, um, maybe everyone's setup doesn't do this, maybe their setup is a little bit awkward and like their keyboard's above their mouse or their mouse is like above the keyboard or something, like those weird desk setups. Not that you're weird if you use that, but um, you know, whatever. What you're gonna do is you will set your keyboard over your mouse mat ever so slightly. Um, so here's my you know, my mouse mat, mouse pad, whatever, you'll set it slightly over it so that the keyboard and the mouse are relatively close to each other. Um, and then, you know, by doing this, it's not really very, you know, very far distance from the keyboard and the mouse, obviously. So imagine, like, uh, someone, you know, drops a ward or something, and, you know, normally you would have to take your hand off your mouse to go and type it, or you could try to, you know, do it awkwardly with one hand to, like, hit enter and type something and then hit enter again, whatever. Um, with this method, your mouse doesn't ever have to really leave play, and neither does your keyboard hand. Um, so what you'll do is you'll pick up your, your, it depends on what grip you use with your mouse, but you'll, uh, you'll elevate your hand and you'll bring your mouse over, and with this thumb, you'll hit the enter key over here, you just have it enabled, whatever. When you hit enter, it'll go into all chat, and then with these fingers that are generally above QWER and DF over here, you'll just type in the numbers, you know, depending on what you have to do. You'll retap enter, and then you'll slide the hand back over. So that's one little method to improve the speed at which you can type, you know, buff timers, spell timers, you know, word timers, objective timers, like everything like that. Um, another little thing, uh, some people have asked me how I hit the, the F keys uh, so fast or, you know, as fluidly as I do or whatever. And uh, basically, when I'm playing, um, you'll notice from the angle, sort of, that my wrist is not resting on, uh, on the desk here. It's not touching when I'm playing. It's elevated. And when it's elevated and it's like a spider, um, it's not hard to just go like this. So here's the QW. E keys and there's the F keys and it's just one motion just like that to hit the F keys and when you can do it you know faster like you can have one key still staying on QWER and you can just have like the middle and ring finger up hitting the F keys or something um, another thing that you can do with this setup with the, the F keys is to instantly readjust to yourself rather than hitting you know F1 which is your own avatar you can just hit spacebar so this is not a very difficult hand posture right here um, like so just playing with your hand elevated not allowing your wrists to uh, rest on the desk or anything like that um, you know when you're going to hit F keys or anything it's uh, just a great improvement um, when you're not gonna be hitting F keys or if you just have big hands like I do or something um, you can technically rest on the desk because as you're seeing I'm doing that right now you know through the angle um, and I can still hit F keys while you know, hitting uh, all the buttons and whatever. Um, but for people that can't, um, you know, then just use the elevated hand technique, which I do use sometimes anyway, um, because sometimes it can just be more fluid, whatever, depending on what you're doing. Um, so anyways, I hope that helps. So again, here is the, you know, it's just one fast motion. So you're in a game, you're, you know, you're pressing buttons, whatever, controlling whatever, and then just one swift motion, enter, enter and then it goes back and that's how you do it in one fast motion so i hope that's beneficial to you i hope it helps um you know <laughs> hasten how quickly you can type to your allies um 
and hopefully that'll improve something. And with this, you'll never have to, you know, take your hand off your mouse, type, hit enter, and then readjust, etc. Because that can be a little bit awkward sometimes, and that can leave you susceptible to something like dying while chatting or something. Whereas with this method, generally your mouse stays stationary, and uh, your keyboard is ready to go in the event that someone, you know, comes out of the fog of war unexpectedly or something. So, hope this was beneficial. I'll be making more videos like this in the future. Um, this one is obviously hands-on in terms of raw mechanics with the keyboard and the mouse, and there's other stuff that you can definitely do. Um, like certain, you know, heroes and stuff have certain hand positioning for their full combo and whatever in terms of uh, fingers, you know, uh, like, you know, Evelyn, whatever. So, um, I mentioned Evelyn just because the <laughs> her full combo back when she had like DFG or now that she has Borg or and it's like seven buttons in one second or something so that actually has unique hand positioning uh, in order to do it when you're going for a full on burst um, so I'll be making videos like that in the future so anyways that's all for now I hope you guys enjoyed later bye bye